Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the follow-up video to making the foam blades for the Auto G2 Gyrocopter. So if you've missed that, I'll put a card up so you can check that one out. But this is where we left off from, and I was just explaining what was the next step was going to be. So the next thing to do really is just take it down to the flying field and give her a try. Um, and if it all doesn't go so well, hopefully these blades will survive a bit until I get used to flying these things. So. Um, I'm quite keen to fly an auto gyro, that it's something I've always wanted to do. Uh, I don't know why, it's just one of them things that sort of grabs you. So the weather forecast for the weekend was pretty bad, it said it was going to rain all weekend, but I woke up Sunday morning and it looked really uh, good, um, with winds of only about 6 or 7 miles an hour. So I quickly got some batteries on charged, and then headed off down the firing field. So the first thing I wanted to do was to make sure that the blades would rotate on their own with just the breeze going through them. So I just stood out the way of it and then as soon as I stood out the way, uh, the wind was coming straight down the field and then they started turning on their own, which I was quite pleased about because I think if I'd got it wrong, they might have just stood there. So you can see the wind's coming straight down there. And I was quite amazed how fast they were going and they got faster and faster. So I probably wouldn't even needed the rotator to get, get it up in the air. <laughs> so I suppose now it's time to uh, shut up and put it up in the air. <laughs> so I decided just to do a little taxi test first of all and see if she would attempt to hop off the ground but um, it, it didn't seem to do it and so uh, I just taxied it around just make sure everything was working okay and all the control servers were going in the right direction and then go for the actual launch so fingers crossed guys and wish me luck the little hatch that covers the battery had popped off I don't think I've got the battery in, uh, quite well enough in the excitement so Martin's just going out to retrieve it oh, I lost me <laughs> Yeah, it's starting to feel a bit yeah. nervous now. I've got the pre rotator going. And once it was going fairly well, I thought, right, let's go for it. She's up. It seemed very lively when I got it into the air, especially oh, on the aero alarm. And what I was trying to, to going nose up. Uh, <laughs> do was just fly it as well as I could. New trimmer. But I think I've got far too much aero alarm on, so uh, I'll need bit, to tame that down. Nose up, isn't yeah. it? Put power on. But they do sound very good when they're flying. Oh, it's definitely different to fly. Yeah, I bet it is. It's flying, though. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come down. <laughs> Love you. See if we can try a landing <laughs> for a smash here. <laughs> Gently, 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 gently towards us. Oh, oh. oh. bitch. I don't think it's still the result. Yes. Oh, I have lost the lid. There it is. Did it? <laughs> so in a strange sort of way, I was actually glad it crashed because it proved whether the single bolt as you can see here worked and although the the blades looked a little bit uh, worse for wear they still looked all right and they just folded back now when i tried this before all that happened was it just used to break the blades and that was game over so what we did then is um cleaned it all off and went for another one 
Right. The main aim of this flight was to see if I could land the bloody thing. Come on. So we cleaned her all off, and the blades were looking okay, straightened them up, and then went for another one. So you can hear the pre-rotator going, and it's got two speeds. Uh, it's on a two, two-way switch, so it starts slowly, it's faster. And then once I'm up in the air, I then switch the pre-rotator off, and you can see that little battery hatch just come off again. So I need to sort that out. So all I was trying to do here was just do a circuit and come in for a landing. I think it's... I've had this model well over four years and I've never managed to land it yet, so... Had a few takeoffs. No. So let's see if I can manage it this time. It's not the biggest of models, so not the easiest thing to see when you're filming on a, a GoPro. Nice. Here she comes. Nice. Come on, keep with it. I did it! <laughs> I was so pleased after this because it's. I don't like failing anything, and you know, t to achieve this was <laughs> was a big, big thing for me. I mean, it might not seem much, but it was a big thing for me. So I did try a couple more takeoffs, but what happened is the actual 3D printed rotor hub um, broke, and one of the blades uh, became detached. And I don't know whether that's from the crash or, you know, whether these takeoffs because it, it it did seem to tip over for some reason. So I think something which got a bit out of uh, whack. So as you can see from this attempted takeoff, it just went to one side, and I think this is when the the actual rotor hub broke. So I've reprinted another rotor hub with a 3D printer, but I've actually modified it in Fusion 360 to be a millimetre thicker, and it's still with 20% infill, so I've actually printed two rotor hubs this time, so I've got one with me as a spare. So if these do break again, I might try uh, doing them solid to see how it goes. I don't think these blades are going to last forever so I think I need to get some foam and get some more ready so while I'm learning to fly the thing I think they're going to take some hammer so thanks very much for watching guys it just proves how versatile the CNC foam cutter is you can do rotor blades as well so keep a look out for the next video and that's going to be on dev wing foam and I'm thinking about doing my take on the uh, Drac Mini. I don't know whether you've seen them from Right Wing RC. I've been looking for something interesting to do for the next video and uh, it sort of caught my eye. So uh, I think we'll have a go at designing one of them in Dev Wing Foam and see how that goes. So please like and subscribe guys and I'll see you in the next video which hopefully won't take me too long.